The CUK converter is a type of DC DC converter that has an output voltage magnitude that is either greater than or less than the input voltage magnitude. It is essentially a boost converter followed by a buck converter with a capacitor to couple the energy. The non-isolated CUK converter can only have opposite polarity between input and output. It uses a capacitor as its main energy storage component. Unlike most other types of converters which use an inductor, it is named after Slobodan CUK of the California Institute of Technology, who first presented the design. Non-isolated CUK converter. There are variations on the basic CUK converter. For example, the coils may share single magnetic core, which drops the output ripple and adds efficiency, because the power transfer flows continuously via the capacitor. This type of switcher has minimized EMI radiation. The CUK converter allows energy to flow bidirectionally by using a diode and a switch. Operating principle A non-isolated CUK converter comprises two inductors, two capacitors, a switch, and a diode. Its schematic can be seen in figure 1. It is an inverting converter, so the output voltage is negative with respect to the input voltage. The capacitor C is used to transfer energy and is connected alternately to the input and to the output of the converter via the commutation of the transistor and the diode. The two inductors L1 and L2 are used to convert respectively the input voltage source and the output voltage source into current sources. At a short time scale an inductor can be considered as a current source as it maintains a constant current. This conversion is necessary because if the capacitor were connected directly to the voltage source, the current would be limited only by the parasitic resistance, resulting in high energy loss. Charging a capacitor with a current source prevents resistive current limiting and its associated energy loss. As with other converters the CUK converter can either operate in continuous or discontinuous current mode. However, unlike these converters, it can also operate in discontinuous voltage mode. Continuous mode in steady state, the energy stored in the inductors has to remain the same at the beginning and at the end of a commutation cycle. The energy in an inductor is given by. This implies that the current through the inductors has to be the same at the beginning and the end of the commutation cycle. As the evolution of the current through an inductor is related to the voltage across it, it can be seen that the average value of the inductor voltages over a commutation period have to be zero to satisfy the steady state requirements. If we consider that the capacitors C and CO are large enough for the voltage ripple across them to be negligible, the inductor voltages become, in the off state, inductor L1 is connected in series with I and C. Therefore, as the diode D is forward biased, L2 is directly connected to the output capacitor. Therefore, in the on state, inductor L1 is directly connected to the input source. Therefore, inductor L2 is connected in series with C and the output capacitor. So, the converter operates in on state from T equals 0 to T equals DT, and in off state from DT to TT. The average values of VL1 and VL2 are therefore, as both average voltage have to be 0 to satisfy the steady state conditions, using the last equation we can write. So the average voltage across L1 becomes, which can be written as, it can be seen that this relation is the same as that obtained for the buck boost converter. Discontinuous mode like all DC, DC converters, CUK converters rely on the ability of the inductors in the circuit to provide continuous current. In much the same way a capacitor in a rectifier filter provides continuous voltage. If this inductor is too small or below the critical inductance, then the current will be discontinuous. This state of operation is usually not studied in much depth, as it is not used beyond a demonstrating of why the minimum inductance is crucial. The minimum inductance is given by, where is the switching frequency? 
Isolated CUK Converter The CUK converter can be made in an isolated kind. An AC transformer and an additional capacitor must be added. Because the isolated CUK converter is isolated, the output voltage polarity can be chosen freely. As the non-isolated CUK converter, the isolated CUK converter can have an output voltage magnitude that is either greater than or less than the input voltage magnitude, even with an 1 to 1 AC transformer. Related structures Inductor coupling Instead of using two discrete inductor components, many designers implement a coupled inductor CUK converter, using a single magnetic component that includes both inductors on the same core. The transformer action between the inductors inside that component gives a coupled inductor CUK converter with lower output ripple than a CUK converter using two independent discrete inductor components. Single-ended primary inductance converter ASEPIC converter is able to step up or step down the voltage.